Explosive Ordnance Disposal Units perform a dangerous task where one false move could mean disaster. With the help of one organization, such disasters may become a thing of the past as our military forces move into the future. In, in the early 80s and the mid 80s, EOD technicians started seeing uh, robots come into their field. So they would start using robots for reconnaissance and um, remote ordnance um, diffusal. Now we have robots that are able to think for the soldier, protect the soldier, and to be able to be a more integral part of the EOD team. Gary Stair, the senior robotics program manager for iRobot, a robotics company based in Bedford, Massachusetts, pays a visit to Fort Riley to explain the benefits of having these mechanized warriors fighting alongside their human counterparts. You're giving the soldier the extra time to run down range with the robot to be able to recon the IED and give the soldier direct feedback. Give them the distance. We give them 1,100 meters between where the operator is standing to where the robot is. So that gives them the safe separation and it gives them shielding. We can have the soldier in a vehicle operating this robot up to a thousand meters away. Along with assisting in removing and disposing of improvised explosive devices, Stair says that there are a few other perks as well. Being able to climb up stairs, fit into any doorways, we can actually get into you know, third floor, fourth floor areas, still have communications and be able to clear that area looking for either insurgents or just looking for a device. Captain Ashton Schultz, an engineer operations officer with the 1st Infantry Division, admits his love for these armored battle buddies. I, I think it's great. Anytime we can reduce the risk to a soldier's life on the battlefield is, I mean, it's, it's a win-win situation. Reporting for the 4th Infantry Brigade Combat Team, 1st Infantry Division, I'm Sergeant Luther Washington.